All right, uh, round one, game three. Going to keep this hand. Does not seem like super amazing, but we have a couple lands, both of our colors, and we can read the bones to dig for what we don't get. Um, and he's keeping on the play. So it does seem like his deck is faster than ours. So I think we just need to do everything we can to stabilize. Um, this is like kind of a bad card against him because we don't really want to lose life. At least I don't think we do. Um, all right, that's probably bad news. So you could potentially play a four drop here. If he plays that stupid 3-5, geez louise, I will be quite behind. And then, yeah, if actually if he has a 3-5, he will have the mana to mod the monsters very fast. Alright, or he just, you know, dumps his hand. That works too. Um, so I think we just need to play a creature and start blocking. Uh, so we can trade with his guys. So hopefully he doesn't have, you know, like an enchantment to really put the screws on us. Um, yeah, now we're just looking at stabilizing since it does not appear that he has his big threats. And he does have the enchantment. So, all right, well, he's going to let me trade here. So I will do that. All right. You're not a wall. Okay, so I think I just have to do this. Ooh, I think we might need both of these. Um, next turn we can lash that and then play in Monoc Wall and get it back. Or just play this guy. All right, so I guess. Yeah, I guess top top. Taking a lot of damage. Maybe this will get us a little bit back. If we can get some more black permanents. And the reason why I think we need this is because we have lashed the whip and demonic wall. So if, if he starts playing threats that are just like too big to answer, um, that's not one of them. Okay, that was a good draw. So, yeah, I think I just need to kill this. I'll do it on his upkeep so he can't attack with the token. I'd really like to get, um, you know, a small drop so I can do this and, you know, something else in the same turn. Uh, but that might not be possible. He's getting hit for three here, I think. Which is probably good for me. Just, I mean, you know, if he doesn't have anything else. Or he has more. You. That's bad. Alright. Um, Alright, so I think uh, we just need to play this guy. Gain some of the life back. Not much, but every little bit helps. Most importantly, this guy's a blocker. He, he can eat any of his attackers, so um, hopefully this will help get us to stabilizing. Okay, awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. Good, good, good. Alright, so now we play Monic Wall. Getting back, lash the whip. Yes. And uh, play our Eidolon. And pass.
I mean, he has basically unlimited mana at this point. Um, so we want to really use our removal for big threats. All right, so that was pretty good. I think I probably just cast it. Um, I just need more blockers. And I, he's at 27. I'm not killing him anytime soon. Yeah. We need one of our finishers just so uh, he doesn't pull something out. Yep, that I don't care about. It's not the best. I could mnemonic wall to get read the bones, but I don't really want to lose any more life. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to start pinging him down. I, I'm saving the wall just because there's a couple creatures he have that I am pretty sure I need Sip of Hemlock to deal with. I guess Eidolon also works. Alright, so he has that. And I assume he will make it monstrous this turn. Yep. That's fine, we're just going to sip it away. Sip, sip, sip. Baleful Eidolon does block it, but I don't want to risk him having you know, a removal spell for it and me having to chump. Okay, so that's a good draw. Let's... Get rid of it. And get on in there, Evasive Dude. And if we got like the Flying Lifelink guy, he would start doing some serious work. Alright, so he gets this other monstrous creature. Uh, we still have Baleful Eidolon for it, and we're going to be able to mnemonic wall back the Sip of Hemlock, so I think we're we're still okay. And he's he's basically out of gas, I think. What are we spending mana on? Uh, does he have enough to make a monstrous this turn? I guess he might with his devotion to green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, he has it, I think. So big. Yeah, he knows that I have the uh, Lash the Whip in hand. That is okay. Okay, so... Mnemonic Wall. You're the greatest ever. Still short on... Um, being able to cast this this turn, but we can leave Lash the Whip up, which is nice. So we're just going to attack in with our evasive guy and then pass the turn. If he attacks with this, I mean, I'll trade the 1 1 Death Touch for it. That's totally fine. Yeah. Um, so he has a card in his hand. Guess we could just uh, see what it is. Probably just a forest. Yeah, just a plains. Okay, um, so we're just going to get in. So I'm trying to think like if there are any tricks or anything that gives trample. Um, it's probably worth it just to kill this. Especially since he's in like complete top deck mode. He's complaining in, in chat. 
You don't care about your juju. I think he's just mad at how awesome uh, <laughs> my deck is. Alright, so now we have a clock. Scry 2. These are both cards that I want. Yes, they are. So, which do I want more? Um, well, let's see. This is 4, 6, 9. So that's lethal. So I think I want uh, top, top. So if he plays this card, and he has no cards in hand, I can just go for it, and um, probably win. Yep. That is game. So I will... Let's, I'm going to make sure I'm doing the math here right. So 6, 9, and then I can discard... Oh, discard a creature. Never mind. Can't kill him. Um, is an orange any creature gets this test? It's only creature cards. That stinks. Uh, we can still put it on this guy though to increase uh, the clock. Okay, well he's scooping. Alright, on to the next round.